Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to be showing you how to make water-based nail polish. Now some of the clear advantages of using water-based nail polish is there's very little smell. You can also use acetone-free removers to remove the nail polish after it's been applied or starts to wear away. Water-based nail polishes are also non-flammable because we don't need to use many of the traditionally flammable solvents that are used in older nail polish formulas. And manufacturing them is easy. You don't need to use a lot of the equipment that was used in the past for traditional nail polish formulas. And you don't need to use flame-proof equipment because you don't have the flammability issue. Water-based nail polishes are particularly popular not only because they have very, very little smell, but also because of the popularised free-from claims that are associated with a lot of cosmetic products in today's market. Water-based nail polishes can claim toluene-free, formaldehyde-free, phthalate-free, nitrocellulose-free, ethyl acetate-free and camphor-free. Remember there are very clear restrictions over many of these ingredients and some are also prohibited for use in cosmetic products but you'll still see a lot of these free from claims in the marketplace because free from claims help make a consumer think they're making a safer cosmetic choice but remember many of these ingredients aren't used in cosmetics anymore anyway. So now let's get started. One of the first things you'll need to do is to hydrate the laponite. Now it comes as a powder like this and you need to hydrate this in water first until it is reasonably clear. Now this is very important, it takes high shear, it will take a good 45 to 60 minutes at high shear. This is a shear thinning rheology modifier. It's really important to make sure that we can stabilize the pigment over time. And as you can see, I've already mixed this so that it's fully hydrated, like I say, reasonably clear. And so then we know it's ready to add to our mix. Now I already have measured out here the Sintran PC5620CG. This is a film forming acrylate emulsion and I'm going to add my materials to this under low shear. Very important that all the mixing is done under low shear because we don't want to trap too much air while we're mixing the product. Now to this I'm going to add a small amount of solvent a fast drying plasticizing agent and another polymer which is going to help harden our film and also improve the gloss of the finished product. Next I'm going to add my laponite solution, again this is really important, this will hold our pigment in place but also ensure that the product will spread thinly over the nail when apply but enable it to set quite quickly as well. And finally we're going to add our pigment in a pre-dispersed solution. Then we mix until homogenous, again making sure we don't trap air while stirring. And that's really all there is to it. And then we can enjoy our beautiful water-based nail polish. And using different pigment materials, we can create a range of colors. 
Remember the preparation of that laponite is crucial to ensuring long-term stability and pigment suspension in this product. And using the materials I've identified makes it really this easy to prepare a water-based nail polish. Happy formulating!